the statement, getting the best from my coach so they can get the best out of me, what does that statement mean to you? I think that means the relationship between me and my coach, it takes two uh, to be able to you know, get to the games, well your pinnacle event and uh, being able to work together is, and being able to have a close relationship is crucial in being able to have a coach and athlete relationship. Obviously me being an athlete in the pool I expect my coach to be 100% dedicated to what my goal is and I expect his goal to be exactly the same and therefore his goals would be exactly the same uh, well he'd be thinking exactly the same as me, do you know what I mean? So uh, just having both the same idea I guess and the same path. What do you do to maintain and improve your coaching relationship with Rolly and you know, do you do anything differently now compared to what you did four years ago? Uh, four years ago I was 15, I was naive and I was getting coached. Now with four years gone by and we have had to work differently because I've got older and mature and um, obviously becoming into a woman now so uh, we've, we, he doesn't coach me anymore, we coach together so I have just as much say in everything that we plan and uh, every uh, session he writes up on the board for me to swim, I also have a say in that as well. Uh, Rolly's pretty good in that area though as well in terms of being able to um, tell just by looking at me whether I'm ready for that session or not and he can adjust just by looking at what sort of emotion I'm in that day. So I'm very lucky in that respect but uh, yeah no we have, we have to be on the same path now and moving forward through to the next four years, yes we're going to have to work very differently. Uh, I'd say probably the same as what we have this year and that's you know overcome challenges together, talk um, a lot more, having communication is very crucial. What are some of the obstacles you have overcome to develop a long-standing and positive coaching relationship with Rolly? I would say arguments, there's always going to be arguments, it's like being with your coach is like a married couple, it's, um, it's very demanding of each other, uh, obviously the emotions are running high when you're stressed or you know when you're both going for the same goal together and you want to both get the best out of each other yes you have those times where there's the arguments I'm very lucky with Rolly that um, our communication is really good that we can argue have our little fight and two minutes later we're fine you know we've discussed everything we've sorted it all out and we've moved on from what's just happened you know and those times there I think definitely make you stronger as, uh, as a couple and as a you know, coach and athlete relationship, it makes it stronger. Not that Rolly's going anywhere but imagine you had the opportunity to interview a new coach to work with you and you know, for, for them to bring out the best in you, what would you be looking for? I've never really thought about that because I've only ever had Rolly uh, since you know, day one uh, but I guess if I really had to interview someone they would have to be very hard, uh, thick skinned, um, push me a lot, you know, I don't want a soft coach, uh, you know, being able to go out of that comfort zone and uh, that's what's really made me who I am today. I guess half of Rolly has rubbed off on me because I have been with him since I was eight, so I'd, I'd expect when, you know, if I had to interview someone they'd have to be, you know, similar to Rolly in areas and, you know, definitely be able to push the athlete out of their comfort zone to be successful. So what advice would you give to an athlete to help them develop a successful performance driven relationship with their coach? I think communication is the big one. It's, uh, it, comes down, it comes down to the little nitty gritty stuff and if you are able to be able to get into a pool and just swim and you know with swimming in particular it's such a lonely sport your head's always down, you're looking at the bottom of the pool so you don't, you don't talk to anyone and you don't get the feedback from anyone while you're training and you get into that zone where you think and then you go into an overthinking stage and you don't want to get into that overthinking stage because it's, it's, it's bad and um, it's crucial for this up here. So if, I think if there's anything on your mind it needs to be discussed with your coach, it's the communication between you two. I mean I share everything with Rolly, not just swimming life but I do share my personal life with Rolly as well because he needs to know what's going on in those areas as well to be able to get the best out of me as an athlete and uh, you know your personal life is just as crucial as your athlete life and uh, 
if they're if one's not balanced, then you know there's something wrong, and you never know. Uh, for me personally, Roly can help me out with those things. So. What is it about being a carded athlete that has helped you achieve on the world stage? For me, it would be the access to support staff. Um, it's being able to just to, you know, if I need anything, on it's all on tap. I can ring up and I can be like, look, I need a psychologist, I need uh, a nutritionist, and it's all there for me, it's, uh, and it's easy accessible, you know, and I only need to ring one person and I've, you know, make an appointment and I'm there the next day. And because they're on tap, they are, they are required to be on tap 24-7. So if I've got a really urgent phone call to a sports doctor in the middle of the night, I've got that opportunity to be able to get it sorted, um, or if anything's on my mind, it's, you know, everyone's only a phone call away and that's the benefits of being a carded athlete and it's really appreciative. Yeah. For someone who's, who's going to be a carded athlete or a newly carded athlete, uh, what advice would you have for them going into the high performance environment? I would say take every opportunity that's given to you. Um, high Performance Sport New Zealand help out in so many areas and if you've got the opportunity to be able to uh, have someone uh, uh, you know, come to you and help, help you out, take it because it's, it helps you along the lines for your preparing of a pinnacle event.